check out what's inside my baseball bag. Okay, is that how we're starting our Monday morning? <laughs> Good morning, Mason. I guess somebody woke up in a good mood. I guess you got plenty of sleep. It is Monday. Um, let's see, we're going into 4th of July this weekend. In fact, this vlog will go up on 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to everybody. Hopefully you are celebrating safely and having fun on your 4th of July. Um, leave a comment down below. What are you guys doing for your 4th of July? I know a lot of the fireworks around the Phoenix area have been canceled due to COVID social distancing. And also we are super dry here. Like we have wildfires like crazy right now all over the state of Arizona. So leave a comment down below. Just wondering what you guys are doing. Are you having a barbecue? What are you doing? Going swimming? <laughs> Mason. Um, this kid, maybe he's also in a good mood because he has a free week off. No, um, no. That's not why? No. Oh, see, he would rather be at practice. Yes. Which I should know that. But he does have a game scheduled for Tuesday. But as far as practices all week, nothing on his schedule for the entire week for baseball and basketball. So no weight training, no leadership classes, no practices, just the game tomorrow night. I don't know what he's going to do all week. I'm pretty sure Jack will take him out, practice somehow, some way, because you really shouldn't take a week off, right, Mace? Sure. It's never a good idea. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's Monday. We're getting our week started. Hey, good game. Got it. Let's go. Get him in. Yes, sir. It's Wednesday, Mason. We're halfway to the weekend, a Fourth of July weekend. A long weekend so we're excited for that but it is lunchtime Mason was feeling like a quesadilla and I said okay perfect because we saw something on TikTok. have you guys tried this I think it's called the toaster dia it's like toaster and quesadilla put together toaster dia does that make sense yeah so we're going to attempt it we got the toaster out Yo. we've got the tortilla now I've seen people use either shredded or like regular sliced cheese. So our first attempt, I think we're gonna try this because obviously this will be a little bit easier. But what do you think? Here we go. Get your tortilla, and then you get your cheese. And then you're going to put two slices of cheese. Let's see, probably this might make sense, huh? And then if I remember right, you're gonna fold over like this, fold over like this, Fold over like this. So now you have that little pocket. Nice, this is so easy, I think you can do this. And then you're supposed to put it in your toaster. Wait, it's the most satisfying thing ever. Watch out. What? Or, hold on, let me come around. Whenever you drop it. Drop it? Yep. All right, ready? Here Wait, it it's sunny on. Is it? Yeah, it's on, it's plugged in. Ready? Oh, go. I don't know, we have it set for four, so we'll see. Four. Now we wait. That's it? Yeah, and then you wait, and then you take it out, and then you refold it, and then do it again. So, we'll see. Okay. So now you're supposed to, ooh, look at that. All right, take over the camera. You're supposed to take it out. Look at that. Oh my. And then, so you want to get this side crispy, so you're going to flip it. And just put it like that, yep. and then put, put it, it back, back in. in. Yeah. So I don't think that will do... Uh, Four minutes this no. time. so how do I... Do you start it first? Uh, okay, so do maybe so a two. Three. Let's a try two. a two. Okay. Look, Mason knows how to use the toaster better than me. <laughs> Good job, bud. Shrudel. Right, go for it. Shrudel check. Alright. Oh my. That looks yum. And the cheese is all melted and gooey. It's nice and crispy. So then he's got his sour cream and salsa ready to go over here. All right. Guess we'll see if you like it or not. That was easy, right? Yep, that's hot. Moment of truth. Well, we know it's hot. Cheese is all melted. Crispiness yeah. is okay for you. 
Mm -hmm. All right, there you guys have it. If you have a toaster, if you have tortillas, if you have cheese, you guys can make this lunch. Mason gives it two thumbs up. Yep, thank you. You're welcome. You made it. Try it, guys. <laughs> Try it, guys. I like the DIY stuff because sometimes I can make it because it's easy. I know, simple. Mason's getting good at the... I can make a grilled cheese now. I'm achieving on the food list. I know, you're learning a lot this summer. I ended up making Mason a second quesadilla because let's be honest, he's a growing 14 year old boy. One quesadilla is definitely not enough. So he had two and the next one I did shredded cheese and better with shredded cheese or sliced like cheese? better because uh, you like the shredded cheese better. Col or what's it called? Like the Colby the Jack slice, uh -huh. slices. They like, since they're like slices, they don't get everywhere. Oh, like the, okay. The shredded you can put everywhere. Okay. So they'll get everywhere. So you have cheese everywhere in the second one. Mm -hmm. So there you go, guys. Shredded cheese might be a better option. But I think Mason is going to head out to the garage and get some hitting in. Is that the plans? Yep. Yep. So like we said, he has no practice this whole week, um, but he's still trying to, obviously he had a baseball game last night. Um, but um, so Mason's gonna get some hitting in, and then I think dad's gonna take you out to play some basketball tonight, possibly too. So trying to keep up on his training. Have fun hitting. I was hitting. Good. Good? Yeah. He's got dirt on his face again, because it's hot out there. Did you turn your fan on? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, at least you got that done before it got too hot. And just like that, it's dinner time. I just cut up some fresh veggies. Can you tell what we're gonna have? Any guesses, any guesses? Then I've got some chicken and steak. I'll go in that pan. We're having fajitas tonight. Jack should be getting back from his run anytime. And then I have this setting right out for him so he can spray some pants for me. Here is served. But for the record, Jack said, these are fajitas. These are burritos. Yeah, these aren't fajitas. Because I had the bigger burritos. tortillas. All right, the dinner is cleaned up. Thanks, Jack, for helping me clean up. Mason took out the trash. I cooked. It was a team effort, but we're full. Um, but that's not going to stop us from doing this. You guys have been asking. We kind of teased when Mason got his new baseball bag that we might do another What's in Mason's Baseball Bag. That's probably going to be the title of this vlog. Um, it's been a few weeks. He's had, what, two tournaments? Definitely practices, so I think he's pretty much moved into this bag by now. In fact, look at it. It does not look new anymore. I know the camera probably won't do it justice, but... That's what the bag's supposed to look um, like. It's pretty, in fact, I will have to clean the counter very well <laughs> after it's off of here. But it's definitely been used. And so far, thumbs up. Yep. Still love it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I think we're gonna get to it. What's in Mason's bat bag? Is it bat bag, baseball bag? I don't know, somebody made fun of me last vlog. <laughs> Go ahead, leave the hate in the comments. Something All right, bad. ready? It's a bag that carries your stuff for baseball. Take it, Mason. Okay. We'll go bats first. Okay. So obviously, got the drop three Louisville Solo, 31 inch. Drop three. There's not much to say about it. I like this bat a lot. Uh, I've had this for like, I don't even know, to be honest. Mm, all of your eighth grade Who year? Knows. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it. I like this year. bat a lot. Drop threes was a, a hard transition for probably a lot of people just because it's a heavier bat in the beginning. Yep. Then once you get used to it, it's a lot of fun to swing. On my other side, I just got the, my drop five bat just because it kind of look awkward if I had only like one bat. Obviously, I can't use this bat anymore, but this bat has still brought a lot cool. of good memories. So. Yes, yes. Uh, if I get like another BB core in the future or a wood bat, say something maybe, put this in for the drop five for sure though. I'll go this pouch right here. All right. So this pouch has like accessories. So I got like a cooling towel because Arizona's hot. And then I got my sunglasses. There you go. And that hair though. Here's my baseball glasses. Or a lot of people wear them like this, <laughs> like this, I don't know. Some people just literally put on his hat, which I think is a little ridiculous, but hey, just me. <laughs> hey, gotta got that swag, you know? Yep. I got the arm sleeve in here which I don't really wear a lot, 
I don't know why. I just haven't been an accessories guy a lot. I don't know. You go like, through phases. Yeah, like, I don't know. But he's got it there if he needs it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got a seed sack in here, courtesy of Play Crate. You can get yours. Links down below. Yep. And that's Seed Sack the Company. And um, just had this. Always have this just in case someone has seeds or if you have seeds, mm. then I'll take some. <laughs> you, are you stealing everybody's seeds? Uh, this is like for that outfield. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't like chewing on seeds whenever you're out there though, but. Somebody like, asked, are you seeds or are you bubble gum? I like. I said both. I say both. Gum's like easier, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. seeds you have to like spit out. Yeah, anything, that's so. true. And then I have this, another plate crate item, whenever they did like a Rawlings theme, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. with Rawlings. A bat grip spray, so it's like pine tar, but spray. And then every single time I'm walking around, all you hear is sometimes whenever I, <laughs> whenever I go like this, feet like that, all you hear is. <laughs> that's funny. And then in here, in this pouch, I got the extra pair of batting gloves, mm -hmm. just in case. And then I got a pine tar stick in here. And also thanks to Plate Crate. And then that's it. Normally I have an armband in here, but I, I don't really know where it's at. Uh oh. That's fine. I think it's in a different bag or something. Okay. So. All right, so we got. Ooh, those don't look new either. They're not anymore. I played oh, one game in these. One game, you guys. Because like these right here, look, it's like polished right here. That's, That's kind of good. Maybe it'll like just come off easy. You just then. wipe it off. Yeah, and off yeah, you can. If they. Get All right, let's over. set these on the ground for now. All right. So those are new cleats. New cleats. That those were in the last vlog. My turfs. Turfs. That was a. Birthday gift was it? Yes, birthday, birthday gift. Uh -huh. Yeah. Alright. So that's the so shoe. Those are just my cleat. Wait, look at here. Look right there. Oh, look how much dirt is in there. Bleh. It's weighing you down. What is that? I just found a secret compartment I did not know about. Seriously? Yeah. Really? You put yourself on that? I don't know what that was. Why is that there? I don't know either. Well, like right here, look. It's like just what? like a random. <laughs> And it goes like all the way down here. It totally. Oh, is it for a water bottle maybe? Mm. That's kind of weird. I don't mm. even know what that is. I mm. will never use that. But Interesting. You just find stuff on your bag sometimes. <laughs> and then this is the main compartment. So I got my first baseman's mitt. You've seen this already <laughs> a million times. Got the outfielder's glove, which I break, I break, I like the outfield glove like this, like wide, like this, cause then it's like that extra inch right there instead of here, like I like it like that. And then I got my A2000. So you pitch with that one. So this is 11.5, but his glove is 11.775, which is nice at third, cause you get like, just the same as the outfielders go, get that extra right there. Boop. And then, obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys know what's in the main compartment. Um, the helmet. The helmet, and I put my gloves in there. Smart. But, yeah, there's a the helmet. This was plain white, and now it's like, mm -hmm. just kind of dirty. I like it, like, like all with the dirt all over it. And he uses a C flap. Yeah, I do. Protect his. But you can tell from the C flap compared. The yeah. C flap is a little dirty, but like that doesn't get as dirty as this. Like you can tell it's weird. And then I use uh, these are called Jack's batting gloves. And then I like this because it has like, you know, players use the thumb rubber thing. Mm -hmm. If you guys know what that is, like whenever they're hitting, this has like right on their whatever it's like built in like, side you hit off. Like if you're right, you got it on this glove. If you're left, you got it. It's like built in into this. So it's like grip right there. So whenever you hold it, your knuckles, it actually makes your knuckles automatically line up. Awesome. With this. And then when you order them, you have to specify if you're a right handed yeah. hitter or a left handed hitter. So if you're a left handed hitter, it'll be right here. So if you're a switch hitter, you gotta and buy two pairs, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. It doesn't really matter, but I like it because it lines up your knuckles actually, which is like 
I don't know, coaches always like line up your knuckles all the time. So, <laughs> with these bangles, they're automatically, which is nice. Is there more? Yeah, see it? No, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> but that's it. That's it? Yeah. And that's it. So there's right. like a zipper pocket in here. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you figure out with your. We need another. Oh, there is another so, pocket like, in here. I don't here. know what that's for. Nice. Probably for your cell phone and all that stuff. Possibly. See, good thing we did a bag review because we're learning things. So, oh, well. Still don't know what this, why is there Velcro? Why would there be like Velcro? I know, your batting gloves. You Velcro them to it, yeah? I don't like that, because then it might fall off. Yeah, I think it's like when it's hanging on the fence or something like that. Oh yeah, so they're easy. In game, not necessarily walking out. And then you okay. can hold this bag like on your strap or mm -hmm. if you're lucky on this side most likely. And then it also has like a backpack form. Yep. I don't, I don't really like the backpack form. Yeah. I bought this one to do, use it or wear it like the strap. Like As a duffel. The back, yeah. At least you have an option though. That's yeah. Like when you get on a long, a long walk to the field, you can do that. Mm -hmm. For me though, this is like uncomfortable because like if my bag, so like your bag's so heavy that I feel like my back going like this already. Mm -hmm. And that's without three gloves and a helmet. And like you gotta hold it down to, I don't know. I either just gotta get bigger with the bag for the backpack, but I just wear it like the duffel bag style. So that's Mason's. And then it's a uh, Rawlings bag. Yep. I don't really know like what type of the yeah. different types. Yeah, that's a few vlogs back. You guys wanna see us when we're shopping for that? This is a pretty popular duffel bag, I know. Yeah, yeah. this is bigger on the duffel side, which is obviously we needed them. We needed all the extra room we could get in that bad boy when you play multiple positions. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, obviously, a duffel won't work if you're a catcher. No. But if you play anywhere else, it's it's borderline for him because he uh, he prefers different gloves depending upon where he plays. So we barely have enough room in there, but so far so good it's worked out. It's gonna take some creative packing when you put it away. Yeah, don't but, wanna pancake those gloves, right? Yes. All right, we'll have fun putting it all away. Well, it is Thursday and I have been getting things done. As soon as I woke up this morning, I got my workout done. I've been doing random stuff around the house. Not your normal chores, the chores that you do just every once in a while, like dusting fans. Um, I dusted the doors upstairs because I don't know, they get like dusty right there. And next, Mason, before you leave, I need your hat. You guys, leave a comment down below. How do you guys clean your baseball hats? Um, as you can see, Mason is a sweaty kid, so his hats get pretty nasty. I got these for the boys for Christmas, this past Christmas, and you just put the hats in there, and then you put them in the dishwasher. So if you don't mind, Mason, I do believe, are we working out? Um, let's see, how's this hat? Oh yeah, see, that hat needs to be done too. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys get your hats clean. Well, Jack's home from work and he brought some packages that we're gonna open, but I also wanted to give you an update on Mason's hats. You guys, they are drying nicely. There's that one. I mean, it has a little bit of red dirt right there, but for the most part, not bad. So highly recommend these. Um, Bed Bath Beyond is where I, I got those, if you guys were interested in that. He also got a haircut, but then he put a hat on. Oh, Aw, it's so handsome. Yes. <laughs> Still need to get this guy's haircut. Excited for this one? I don't know what it is. You should be excited. I should? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. A Samsung water filter. <laughs> you guys, if you watched a couple vlogs ago. Is it the right one? I, I did, I opened it already, it's the right one. But they sent the wrong model so we had to return it. But Our the new one is here. Return. So no worries, we will have fresh ice, fresh water. This kid uses a lot of that so we go through these things a lot. All right, next one I think Mason will be a little bit more excited about. <laughs> Finally. Oh yeah. All right, so baseball lifestyle drops headbands. You guys know Mason loves wearing headbands. So even way back when they were teasing that they might drop these, he was like, mom, I have to get some of those. Well, the time is now come. He has the headbands. You gonna rock one? Sure. Your freshly cut hair. <laughs> Twins. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it, Mace. How's it um, look? 
Sir, I think you're doing it wrong. What? What? I think you're doing it wrong. Nah, I don't know how to wear these. <laughs> it's obviously more for Mason. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> While they're adjusting, Jack has no idea. While they're adjusting their headbands, I'll let you guys know. Links down below if you guys are ready to get some headbands, some baseball lifestyle gear. Um, promo code is BEVOS. You'll get 15% off your entire order. But Mason's looking handsome. Helping his dad over here. There you go. Mason's helping him. Now I see there you go. There you go. Let's get a close up, Mace. Baseball lifestyle. And this one. Should have done this before I got my haircut. Kind of looks like that. What is it, Mace? Louis Vuitton? Or something like that. And oh, then, fashionable? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was fun. Um, I think the plan tonight, we're going to have an early dinner and then take Mason out to get some basketball practice in like we said no practices this week so he's been trying to do stuff on his own so i think we're going to eat early and then let the sun sort of come down cool off a little bit and go play some basketball plus get some exercise in for us too yeah it was the big run, run but then you said we're gonna play hoops i'm like all right I'll yeah save my energy. yeah you burn some calories playing keeping up with that guy yeah the slides no mm -hmm. matches with the head there. Oh, yeah 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 time to play some hoops Work off that dinner. I made chicken parmesan sandwiches and Mason said it was the best dinner ever. Ooh, money. <laughs> oh, I jinxed it. There you go, Dad. <laughs> See that rebound. The spin move. Okay, Dad, I see you. Ooh. Now he's just showing off. Well, you guys, it is a Friday evening. You know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Not much going on. Mason's gonna head out to the garage to get some hitting in. Jack! is editing as usual. I've been busy today, you guys. Stay tuned. Um, it's 4th of July tomorrow. Well, this vlog goes up tomorrow on 4th of July, so everybody, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys are staying safe, enjoying your holiday weekend. But as always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment in the comment section. And to check that in the sky for awesome new adventures, and let's fiber go adventures, and to press the bell down below so you notified when we post the next video. And don't forget to check out next time's adventures.